kids love to celebrate Halloween, but not all get to enjoy the goodies that end up in their goodie bags. So today, some little ghouls and goblins were treated to a special celebration of their own in Limbrook. Some kids trick or treat. These kids trunk or treat. The trunks of these cars are filled with things other than candy, like pencils and stickers for kids who have allergies to ingredients in candy. Lindbrook mom Georgina Cipriano came up with the idea because her 14-year-old son Giovanni, who is allergic to peanuts, died three years ago when he ate something that he didn't know had peanuts in it. I don't want them to ever feel the pain that my family feels, that I feel. Uh, the loss is just horrendous. She says Halloween treats sometimes have many hidden ingredients that can be life-threatening. You have to read the label because labels change. Events like Halloween can be both scary and stressful for moms like Anne-Marie Covino of Bayville. One of her five-year-old twins is allergic to corn, wheat, soy, and dairy, to name a few. Being able to come out here and walk around and know there's no food, no danger, is amazing for us. And this event is also meant to spread awareness. And if you see teal pumpkins like this one in front of somebody's house, it means that they're giving away treats that are allergy-free. My daughter has food allergies, and when she started seeing the teal pumpkins on the steps, I just can't explain the light in her face. It makes me feel good about myself because there are other kids who deal with this every day. And with food allergies on the rise in the U.S., events like this at Grice Park in Lindbrook serve as a way to educate the public and for kids to have fun without worry. And the event organizer, Georgina Cipriano, says she created the Love for Giovanni Foundation on Facebook in memory of her son. And the page raises awareness for food allergies and includes information about a support group. Got to be careful out there. Mm -hmm.